Hey guys, this is Sims and Wins, and we are finally back after another year of a hiatus uh, for me with another Build a City Challenge episode. So, um, I have my camera off because, you know, I sat down at least three hours ago to start recording, and I don't know why, but my camera magically decided not to work today. It was working yesterday for classes. Today, I've been troubleshooting the last three hours, and I cannot figure out why my camera is not working. I might need to get a new one. Maybe it fried and went to heaven. I don't know. But I thought we would start, since it has been a while, with just a quick world overview. Um, I jumped into the game, and I was like shocked at how full this neighborhood is now. Like, wow. Uh, so many lots we put down and bought and remember um, so basically for anyone new we started this challenge with one sim and he proceeded to populate the neighborhood this is the build a city challenge um, you can find the rules online uh, there's numerous ways to get sims but the unique thing about my save file is that every community lot um, business or not has been paid for by the residents with taxes. So I take money out of their funds and I use it to pay for all of the community lots that you see here. Um, so there are quite uh, so many families. I think the last time I did a population count last year, I had almost 8,000. I've got 7,897. 7, so I'm almost at 8,000. So we need 10,000, I think, to unlock a uh, downtown. Um, but this is what the main neighborhood is looking like. Then the main neighborhood is pretty full. The rest of them are kind of a little emptier. Uh, where to begin explaining? Um, I, I'm trying to find a founding, founding family here. Okay, the Richardsons. The Richardsons were the founding, founding family. Um, they have gone everywhere. Oh, I'm getting a lag spike. Uh, it's been a while since I've even opened this game. Uh, who is this? Scott Richardson and Marissa. I don't even remember... Like anyone, I would have to go in game and explain the families uh, when we start playing the families, then it'll come back to me. But I think off the top of my head, this is not going to work. Um, so yeah, this is the neighborhood. Uh, let's go now inspect the other one. So we, I put in Blue Water Village um, and included the Sims there. This is an empty neighborhood, Chamblay Sim. Uh, it was supposed to be like a vacation world, but I never started building there. The Hills is a neighborhood with rich Sims. So I think there's only two families there. We can go check. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, the Hills is basically empty for like the super rich. Think Beverly Hills. Um, the reason for my hiatus. So it all started with a USB that wasn't working. That I was procrastinating going and replacing. And then what happened was over the summer... As you guys know, I'm an ESL teacher. Over the summer, I lost my job with China. China put out basically a new policy um, restricting the growth. Uh, basically, it it basically tanked all the ESL companies in China. So a majority of them closed. Some of them are still doing um, the last few classes in the contract before having to terminate classes. Um, yeah, so as I suspected, there were only two families here the Kramer family yes I remember the Kramer family and the Oaksteads oh Julie and Andrew okay yeah we have a lot of work to do on this neighborhood uh let's see what else we have we have Fort Totten the military neighborhood I'm pretty sure that's not active I think there's only three families living there and I think the next family we play lives there so we'll go there in a bit and then the commercial center so we'll go this is like one of the most full um it, secondary neighborhood so we'll check that out um so i lost my job basically through a policy change and then i had to scramble all summer trying to find another job and guys the industry the esl industry has tanked and i don't think it will ever recover like i was making 20 hour 20 dollars an hour with china and you know with this policy basically you lost two billion customers when china's out of the picture you lose a lot of customers and teachers had to basically like teachers plummeted their prices companies sank their prices so basically i'm working now with a japanese company for half the money and it has been quite difficult to say the least because 
I was working a lot of hours to make the money I was making. And now I have to work double the hours to make the money that I was making. And um, yeah, it's been hard. So this is the quick pause. This is the commercial district. It's not as full as I thought it was. I thought I had filled. Where's that brownstone I made? Oh, here they are. Okay. Because that brownstone I just up uploaded was here for the fancy family. Um, but otherwise, it's pretty empty. It's not as full as I thought. We've got a couple bars, a couple stores, just for decoration. They're not even... I don't really even use these that often. Okay, so this is pretty empty. Do I have anything? <laughs> uh, okay, that's it for these neighborhoods. We do have a university neighborhood that we can go check. So there, so I finally found a job in September with Japan, fine and dandy. And then I realized then we caught COVID in November. Um, that was interesting to say the least. And then I decided recently I need a career change because the ESL industry is just so hopeless these days. Um, so I've been doing an online course with Google to learn UX design and um, I'm going through that kind of slowly. I'm not, what doing that course made me realize is that I'm not sure that I'd like to be the designer um, for apps and stuff. I think I'd rather be the developer, like, uh, like the coder. Um, so I'm also doing a boot camp for coding and that has taken up a lot of time as well. So that's what I've been doing lately. I hope you all have been well. My daughter is now four and almost four and a half years old. And this series is almost as old as my daughter. I started the series when I was pregnant. What is that? What is that blue thing there? Hmm. Interesting, something's wrong there. What is this anyway? A community lot. What community lot is that? I, must, I placed something here, but I don't know what that is. Uh, Oh, it's like a fresh fruit market. Okay, so we do have some things here at the university. A park, a baseball field, a nightclub. Um, there are some university students here, as far as I'm concerned. I have not finished placing them. I do this university students at the end of the cycles. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. So now I need to find the next family. The next family is the Kearney family. And I had no idea what the next family was because I haven't played in a year. So I had to, uh, the last video that I uploaded was a year old. So I rewatched that video to determine where I was in the list and figured out that I am going to play the Kearney family, which is in Fort Totten, the military base, because the parents were in the military, I believe. Um, that's if she's still living there. I think she's still living there. We still have quite a bit of people on the list to go through before we get to the end of this cycle. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I've been. I hope you all have been great. Uh, I thought we would start with a little world tour because the series is basically five years old. Um, it's been on and off, sure, because I haven't been very consistent, but um, I'm so grateful. Like as soon as I uploaded yesterday, so many people, well, not so many, I'm not a big channel, but two people <laughs> commented on my video like, you're back. And I'm like, yes, I'm back. I've really appreciated it. Even though it's two people, you know, it's two people who actually watch my videos. That's like amazing because, you know, I don't, I'm a small channel. You can see I've got like 300 something subscribers. Um, this is just something I do for fun. Um, and I really appreciate having somebody watch. So thanks guys uh, for your comments. Um, here we are. The Kearney family is next. So I will slip into the Kearney family. Oh no, this is the family with the dogs. <laughs> oh no. I remember I hate this family because they have so many dogs. Um, I adopted these dogs um, and I had totally forgotten. I had totally forgot that the dog was pregnant and she had the three puppies and they've just been living with these dogs in the house. And it's not a big house, so it's very difficult to take care of. One of them is bugged. I think the father dog can't eat for some reason. Um, so I have to actually cheat in his hunger, um, every so often because it's bugged. Uh, he just won't eat. Um, okay. So, uh, sorry, I'm kind of a little bit disoriented. It's quite a long, uh, intro video. I'm usually better at editing and, oh, we have to do the shadows. I forgot. We, I do have to do bull props and shadows off. Okay. So. 
let's do a quick um, explanation of the Kearney family. Kearney, Lisa Kearney was the one I put in. Her last name is military now for whatever reason. I have to fix that. She married Caleb and they had two daughters. Now these two daughters, I believe, should be going to college very soon. So they will be exiting the household. Um, That's basically it. Uh, one of them, I think, is dating someone. No, maybe not. No, she's not into Gregory. Um, the other one is also, I believe, not dating anyone. Yeah, so I do try to, if you guys remember, I try to meet people um, based on compatibility. So if they're not compatible, I usually won't marry them off. So I try to keep track of that when their kids are teenagers and when they're in college and try to pair them off with compatible people. Um, so I'm just going to play through and I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens. All right, score. I think we just got a gypsy um, to leave the money lamp thing. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Yes. So we got the lamp here, thankfully. So now these guys will be paying for college quite easily for the daughters because when they get back from school today, they will be going to the college, uh, the college town. And if you, what is going on out here? Oh, this is all dirty. Um, if you guys don't remember, when I send Sims to college, I actually charge the family 10000 per child. And I also take into account the scholarships as well. So if they got a scholarship, then I will reduce that from the 10000 So I will see what scholarships they got and then reduce the money. And they should be getting a nice big chunk of change. Um, when I come back, also I noticed something about these dogs. There's definitely a bug because these were the parents, right? Danny and Sarah Critter. And it looks like the puppies that they had are older than they had, uh, than they are. So something is definitely not right here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm going to grab the money from the lamp, send the girls to college, and I'll be right back. All right, so after checking their scholarships, Natalie here owes 9000 and. Angelina here, who's a better student, owes seventy five hundred. So together, that is sixteen hundred sixteen thousand. Oh, I'm so confused now. What am I doing? Yes, sixteen thousand five hundred. So we are going to be moving them to college. Let's get her out of here, and let's also move her to college. What's wrong, Grandma? Oh, she's tired. Okay, why don't you go take a nap somewhere? take a nap okay let's get her and then we have to I'll show you I'll remind you how I add the funds to the god I can't talk tonight sorry guys I'm so tired uh, I'll show you guys how I re reduce the funds from the uh, lot so that I don't have to do it from the neighborhood screen um, it's really simple I take the third person who's going to die soonest which is Lisa here she's kind of old um, she got married very old. She wants to make a wish, so she'll do that. I wasn't finished getting the money from the lamp. Um, oh, actually, why don't you collect that bag? Now, for her, what I'll do is, since she owes 16500 we go to the most expensive thing here. Um, I used to have a CC version of this, but anyway. So that's 6 that's 12 And then I need 4000 Well, almost 5000 right? So I'll just round up here. And that will go in her inventory. She's already paid for something else here. And you don't touch them. She dies and they disappear. And that's how I take money out. So they've paid for their college. Um, she can go summon the Jimmy make a wish, I guess. Uh, wish for wealth. Okay. So these guys are actually going to have quite a bit of money um, for when the girls are finished with college so they can probably split the money one of them will keep this house and one of them can take money and go build a nice house elsewhere um i'm not sure if they're gonna want to stay here in the military district um but maybe they will we shall see it depends on who they marry honestly uh so yeah that's basically it for this household i'm just gonna play through the elderly um i'll probably come back if lisa Kearney, if lisa dies this sim week um otherwise i won't come back Caleb still has quite a few days to live. I'm actually probably going to sit and fix, however, their names. Because um, they should be Kearneys. Because uh, I think the girls are also Kearneys, right? Let's give them the same last name as the girls. Yes, so I'm going to fix their last names. And I'll be back.
Hey folks, that's the end of this same week. Uh, Lisa has actually lived on to see another day and I forgot to do their um, last name. So I actually need to, I don't actually remember how I used to do this. Um, I used to go to this mod here, names, change someone's, uh, I think you have to first change the first name and then change a first name to a last name. So I think what I need to do is first, and this is for anybody, oh, she's cleaning the litter box right now. Um, who's ever curious, this is how you have to do it. It's a little bit annoying. So in order to change Lisa's name, I have to find her in the L's somewhere. This is still the F's, okay. Oh god, this is going to be really annoying. So you have to find her through this. Lisa, Lisa, J-K-L. Okay, so it's not yet. It's a big pain, honestly. Because you have to change your first name to Kearney, then change the first name to the last name, and then rechange the first name back to Lisa. How many J names are there? Um, hopefully she's on this next page here. Lisa. Lisa. Linda. No Lisa yet. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, now you asked me, why am I doing this? Why do you care? I probably shouldn't care. It's just that, where is she? Oh, there she is, Lisa. Um, For the graveyard, I'd rather have them have their actual last names. So Lisa's first name needs to change to Kearney which is her actual last name. And then we have to go back, copy a first name to a last name. Can you focus? Stop feeding treats to the dogs. Focus here. So then I need to go all the way back to where I was, again, through the wait time and the legging. Um, please just go where I need you to go. Is this here? No. A little bit more, I think. Yes. Okay, so she should be... Oh, wait, no. She's now Now she's a K, right? I changed it to Kearney. So yeah, you have to keep in mind, when you change it, it moves her. So Kearney Military, so then it changes her to Kearney Kearney, and then you have to change the first name again, and that's when you change it back to Lisa. So that is how that is done. In case anyone was wondering, um, if you make any mistakes with the names, this is the only way to do it as far as I know. And now she's Lisa Kearney. Okay. I'll see you in the next household. All right. So I just played a sim week with the next family, which was the Ramirez family. So we're still in the military district. Arnold and Louise Ramirez live in the military district in one of these little military houses here. They're all the same. And they had only one kid named Wendy. They're about to kick the bucket, though. Like, they're about to die. So I need to get her to go to college real fast and then come back and then take over the house before they die. Um, oh, she needs to go to the bathroom. Okay, I need you to get out of the shower. I need you to go to college. Um, so she's also going to go to college. Um, and then I'm going to stop the sim week, even though it's only Saturday, because I want her to come back before these guys die so that she can take over the funds otherwise it gets lost um so let's do that she got a thousand 750 750 another 750 another seven oh jeez she was really uh oh she's been busy i see okay so let me check her total here real quick her total scholarships are 5000 so her parents only owe 5000 which is basically only what they had anyway. Um, so let's get a $5,000 simulian thing here. That way they paid for her college. Okay. Uh, they've got a couple of birthday cakes and stuff here that they bought from the community lots. All right, so she is ready to go. Let's get her moved out. Yes. And she's gone. All right, so that's the end of this family. Um, really nothing happened. Okay, so uh, let's go to the next one. Hello, 
And it's the next day, and my camera magically decided to start working again. Um, I hate technology. I was troubleshooting this crap for three hours yesterday because I need my webcam for work too. And I couldn't figure out, it wasn't working on any applications. I was like, why isn't this working? I updated drivers, installed and reinstalled the camera manually and software. Like I unplugged it, replugged it, and reinstalled the software for the camera and it wasn't working. And today I opened my computer and it decided to start working. So I don't know, but uh, we're here in the next household. Um, I'm looking a little crazy. Okay. It's nighttime. I don't really get makeup on at night anymore because I don't teach at night anymore. Um, so um, I'm with the orphanage family now. Oh, I forgot to turn off some shadows again. I always do that. Okay, so we are with the orphanage family now. We've got Jason, who's actually going to die soon, and his wife, Melanie, who is much younger. I think now they had, I think two of the kids were biological kids. I think Nina and Cecilia. I went with an Italian theme with these guys, I think. Yes, so they are biological children, and Alvin and Oren are adopted to kind of give this a orphanage feel uh yeah they're all teenagers i think cecilia might be going to college why is it friday in the sim week though did i play did i play this and then just never record i must have played i guess last year when i was preparing and then i forgot so i guess we're already on friday of the sim week i must have played a couple of days anyway um, so I'm just going to play through it. I don't think anything interesting is going to happen except him dying. Also, guys, I am on TikTok now. So I'm on Instagram as the Spee Nerd in the description, but I'm also on TikTok. Uh, it's like random kind of. Um, I'm not like a TikToker, but I'm having a lot of fun on TikTok. So if you want to follow me, you can follow me on TikTok too. Same handle, the Spee Nerd. Um, what else? Also, now that I have my camera on, I dyed my hair. So I have black hair. I dye my hair black because of my white hairs. But lately, I it doesn't show good in this light. It's not supposed to be red. It's a month old now, so it definitely faded to like a burgundy red, but it was purple. My hair was purple. <laughs> um, but it needs to be refreshed every like two months um, to get the color back because it is dark. I didn't really bleach it. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I'll just play through the rest of this household week, I guess. Um, wait for him to die, and I'll let you guys know if anything interesting happens. All right, so this sim week is basically over with this family. Um, so Jason is actually dead, and we need to move... Actually, I need to get her up for a second. We need to move his grave to the cemetery. So where is that? Uh, the cemetery, okay. So we are moving him. Uh-oh. Uh, reset? Sure. Okay, we don't need the pets there. But um, his grave needs to be at the cemetery. Um, they did get a big chunk of cash uh, from his death. I'm not going to spend it yet until they're sent to college. I am going to renovate the house when I decide which child will take over the orphanage. Because three, there's four kids. Three of them will assumingly leave and marry and find and settle elsewhere but one of them is going to stay here and continue the orphanage so until we decide who that is i don't really want to renovate it not yet until we see who they're going to marry um so yeah that's it for this family let's go into the next one all right so i am now playing my sim cell family long story here before i get into the new pets that are on the way so i had there she is. Okay, I had made my sim self and my sim self husband. My sim self hus my sim husband. I had made my husband into a sim and put myself in. We got married and we had two kids. We had them out of order. I only have a daughter, um, but apparently in the game I have a son and then a daughter. Um, and my sim self died while viewing a tree stuck struck by lightning okay it was very bad it was very traumatic so my sim self is dead and my stupid husband outlived me in this stupid game so my son i believe 
finished college and he's living somewhere in the commercial district, I want to say. And my daughter's still a teenager and she's living with dad. She's got a great relationship with dad. They, My husband's a big fan of dogs. He's always had dogs. Um, I think our Rottweiler in the game died. Our Rottweiler also died. Yes. So he ended up adopting two new dogs and we decided, he decided to breed them in the game. We did have puppies last year, so it's like based on reality. Um, and we've got two new pets on the way from my dog here. Uh, so we've got a female puppy and there should be one more coming. A female puppy. Oh, two female puppies. Okay, so we're going to name... Uh, I think we had a Lucy, but we'll name another Lucy because our female dog is Lucy, but she died, I think. Um, in the game, I mean, she died. So I wanted to bring Lucy back again because Lucy's still alive in real life. And another female name that is a dog that was dear to my husband uh, many years ago is Rosa. We had a dog. They had he, he had a dog named Rosa. So we've got two female puppies, Lucy and Rosa. Um, I'm when they eventually get some cash, I want to renovate my house. So I built this house for them, and it is basically a replica of my actual Greek house. This is like what my house looks like here in Greece. Um. I would like to landscape it a little bit and make, because the outside, we're very close to our neighbors, so there's not a lot of room to landscape, but since I have room in Sims, I can at least make it somewhat the house that I'd like to have, um, because in our real life, we really only have this balcony space and this lower porch space. Um, it's not a lawn, it's a porch, kind of, but it's not a porch, it's not of wood, it's on the ground. It's kind of hard to explain, but this is actually my house. Um, so they're, they, the dogs live here. Uh, we have good weather, so they can stay right here just fine. And uh, I want to renovate this a little bit when they get some money. But um, also, I'm concerned about my husband dying before my daughter finishes college because I don't want to lose the house. So I might send her early. I might end this in week early if I see that getting a little close. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for now. Yeah, I am going to send her to college early because he's actually about to die and I need her to come back from college before he does. So uh, she's got a thousand, seven fifty, seven fifty, two fifty, uh, three twenty something. Uh, so she basically owes six hundred, six thousand seven hundred about, I think. Uh, so we will pay for that. Um, pay for that. Right. Uh, so this is 5,000. We basically need just another thousand, basically. And of course I can't see... Oh, here it is. Oh, this is actually kind of big. Can I fit that anywhere? Yes. Okay, so we will just put that in Dad's inventory. And college has been paid for. They're broke, but college has been paid for. So now all she's got to do is move to college. Yes, and she's out of here, and this sim week is over, so um, let me see here. You know, the next and probably last family that we will be playing in this episode is my sim self son, Anastasi. Now, I placed him on this empty lot last year, and I'm not sure exactly what my intentions were with him. <laughs> Um, I placed Eloise Richardson here as well. So quick explanation here. So right, he's my sim self son. Eloise Richardson is the fourth generation down from the founding family. So if I go up to her grandfather, her grandfather's father was Thomas Richardson, the founder. Thomas Richardson had three sons, one of whom was Robert. Robert had two sons, um, Scott and John. Scott has been the mayor all this time until his when he dies we will elect a new mayor anyway and john had two children one of whom was eloise so she's a founding family member so my son got it in with the founding family okay besides the point did i intend to just put them together they must have gone to college together because i can see that they're compatible but have no love relationship so i think they went to college together and i decided to pair them off so i put them in this lot did I intend to build them a house? Was I going to build? Was I going to move them somewhere else? And I was just placing the families together and merging? 
I don't know what I was doing, but I guess I'm going to have to build them a house. Um, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not in the mood right now to build a house, but I guess right now I'm going to build a house. Let's go. All right, guys. So I have built them a house. It's a house. Is it the best house I've ever built? No, I kind of freestyled it. I'll put up a speed build of it at some point. Um, let me just briefly show you guys in the daytime. Oh, what happened out here? Oh, a couple dogs have been messing around out here and I have newspapers to throw away, but I made it like a little brownstone, uh, very basic with a little bit of a yard here to the side with the cat stuff because they adopted a cat, little balcony. Um, it's basically three bedrooms. It's quite spacious though. So there's one small bedroom with a little ensuite. Is that what it's called? An ensuite? The little bathroom inside that I forgot to add a door to. There's a bigger bedroom with a small bathroom and the master bedroom with a bathroom with the balcony. Upstairs is empty because they haven't made enough money to furnish it. I just finished furnishing downstairs and this is the part where I realized that I really need new custom content because I'm reusing the same things over and over again in all my houses. Uh, so this, these chairs and this table, I always use. These rugs, I always use. This kitchen, I always use. The only thing I did differently this time is I made myself not use a white wall. I forced myself not to use a white wall because I always use a white wall. Um, so yeah, this made me realize that as soon as I close this game today, I need to download some custom content. Um, but their sim week is basically done. Um, they had a pretty successful first sim week. They got engaged. I just for went and engaged them. I didn't take them out to dinner or anything like that because they've been hustling at their job. So she is in the science career because that's what she wanted to do to become a mad scientist, whatever. She's almost there. He is already a celebrity chef right in the first week. He managed to get there. Um, so I'm thinking next week when they have more money, maybe I'll do a little wedding for them. I usually don't do weddings for all the Sims. I do weddings for my favorite Sims. This is my Sim self son. I have to give him a wedding. You know, he's my dead Sim self son, you know? So, uh, next time we'll give them a wedding and then we'll go through the process of having children and furnishing the rest of the house. Um, but yeah, I think that is basically it for this episode. So guys, I'm so happy to see you again. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is in your part of the world. Take care and bye bye.